What a final way to wrap up the offseason. A nice little holiday to get my mind away from the game and the big decisions that are going to have to be made today, man. Leipzig is done, man. We're done with our career in Germany, for now at least. The time of the club was good, but it just wasn't what I wanted long term for the success of my future. This is me, man, leaving my holiday. We're out the hotel room, and we got to make these big boy decisions right now of where we want our future to be. We had two options on the table. We had Manchester United, and we had Wolves. Now, the Wolves deal was one where you guys heard in the last episode. We would be their main striker, their main target up front, where, as Manchester United, we heard it from Ronaldo himself, we would be there backing up him. At least that's what he told me, that we would be learning from him, and eventually when Ronaldo left, we would be the main starter on this club. So I went to you guys for the decision, and, well, you guys voted, and this is what you guys got. Yes, boys, 54% voted Manchester United. We are signing, and we are off to England and oh man is it a surreal experience man walking into Old Trafford man for one of the first times wow a place with so much legacy so many outstanding players have been here man and it's an honor to call this place home and it's where we're gonna be for hopefully a long time man I would love to have a great career here at Manchester I mean so many greats have played here I can't wait to put myself out on this pitch man and show the world show the prem what I can do so this is gonna be a big one you guys voted you guys got what you voted for I know it was close I know some people will be upset it's always how it works with my player we are at United and Ronaldo threw me a pair of his boots I'm sponsored by Nike he said yo wear these man I mean they're gonna make you play better than the CR7s we're playing with Cristiano Ronaldo we are the second highest rated striker on this team we are Ronaldo's backup or are we well, you guys will find out that answer in a little bit. Training as hard as we can because, I mean, Ronaldo said we're going to be a backup to him. But, yo, I want to play as much as possible. So I'm showing the boss what I can do. And I'm getting nice and settled in here to Manchester. You know we had to ball out on our living place. We got to show you guys this every year. Every year we move to a new club, you guys always got to see the new place that we're living. The Penthouse Sweet, man. Check this place out. And this is just the beginning of it, man. There is so much more to this huge closet, man. The living space, TV. I don't even know what the heck that circle thing is. Bedroom, as always, is nice and big. Bed. There's literally a couch in the bedroom. TV as well. Bathroom is absolutely insane. Guys, I'm making a, a little bit more money now. You guys know here, playing with Manchester. But um, I come from a very... A very rich family so the money is honestly never a really big concern for me it, it just is what it is bro I'm, a, I'm just I've just grown up with wealth my entire life and um, I'm just kind of used to it by now honestly looking at this house is kind of just like yeah you know it's just it's just one of those houses that you live in bro I've lived in bigger so here we go let's get in to this season where Ronaldo yeah man might have been lying a bit well at least in this first game I've actually been picked for the starting 11, so... Uh, am, I, am I the starter here? Does the boss trust me over CR7? Listen, man, I'm not saying I'm better than CR7, but I've been put in the starting 11. Yes, we are playing Bournemouth, so fair enough. I mean, it's not like we're out here in the first game against City or Liverpool or anything. But still, first game of the year, and um, first shot of my career with Manchester United is not a great one. We would counter with this, though, and look who it is, bro. Fred! Are you kidding me, bro? The Brazilian, the man who gets trolled so much... That was insane, bro. Oh, my goodness. Crossbar down. Goal like technology. Yes, it is a golazo. And so is this. Bang, boys. Let's go. My first career goal for Manchester United. Hey, can we get another look at this? Because I thought goalkeepers were supposed to be good this year. What the heck was that, bro? Who is this Bournemouth keeper out here? Oh, my God. Listen, man. It was hit pretty hard, but still. I thought keepers were supposed to be OP. This game, though, man, I mean, what a first game. It's just, it's got Manchester United literally written all over it, bro. We go up 2-0, and it's 2-2, and we draw the game. Are you kidding me? Is this what it's going to be like playing for Manchester United? Oh, boy. 
nonetheless a a good debut man we get ourselves a goal and that's really all that you can ask for you know teammates not too happy but it's a long season bro we got 38 games for a reason i'm not too worried with this club i'm not gonna lie man life in manchester so far has been great you guys know how i struggled with my mental health last year in germany well man i am living my best life here in manchester we got a girlfriend now man i am loving things so far man my teammates have been great you know i'm i started the first game i'm getting playing time i could not be more happy man with how things are going in my life right now it literally has taken a 180 turn bro from last season to the struggles that we went through to this right here man everything is going great man how, how could things go down from here as long as i'm playing well i got a girlfriend i got great teammates i got friends here in manchester this was 100 percent the right decision man and i'm not looking back i'm only looking forward to this great season and this great career that we'll hopefully be having here at this club bro we get our third perk we are up to level 19 <sighs> transfer window ends you guys are gonna see the champions league groups as well we've actually been given a really easy one i'm a bit disappointed with the my player this year man it's just so easy to level up we're, we're gonna max out our my player probably by the middle of this season and there's nothing i can do about it like it's just how ea designed the my player this year it's so easy bro we are gonna be maxed out fully leveled in the middle of the first season yeah um not really much we can do either it's just how ea designed the game i don't know man we'll talk more about that later right i'll still see that our first champions league game with united yo let's just say man this one right here um well you, you see that goal right there okay cool header right i'll see that a one nil lead right first chance of the game fred yeah probably should have cleared that uh first chance and um well only chance one nil bro what a disappointing result honestly a bit, uh, bit bummed about that one. We go down first game, no points in the Champions League. That one sucks, man. That one, that one really does suck. And I wasn't too thrilled about it. And neither were some of my teammates. You know, after the match, got showered up, changed. A few players still left in the dressing room. I wanted to have a quick chat with Ronaldo, man, just about my performances, what he thought. And man, just wouldn't acknowledge me. At his back turn, I know he heard me. I, I know he like I, he heard that I wanted to start a conversation, and he just he just completely ignored me. So you know, strange. I ended up just leaving. Like okay, whatever. He's probably busy. Uh, who knows? Uh, but still, strange. Is, is Ronaldo? Is something wrong? The biggest game so far: Liverpool versus Manchester United. And I'm back, bro. You know, I expected to start some of these games versus lower-end clubs, but now the boss is putting me in versus Liverpool. He's putting me in Champions League games. Am I the number one striker? I think right now I can confidently say yes. Cristiano Ronaldo, he's 37 years old. He's not receiving much of any playing time here in his second season with Manchester United. I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. Let's get into this game because it would be a big one. Trent Alexander-Arnold, big injury early on. He would be forced to come out of the game. It looks serious, something with his knee. He's gone. Liverpool not looking good to start this game. We would be though. So many chances early on. How did neither of these go in? Oh my goodness, this one though, this one would. Marcus Rashford, let's go. 42nd minute, Glasso Manchester United up. That is what you love to see, man. Great goal, Liverpool down. What an insane match this is. Rivalry game, Old Trafford right here. We need to get our stuff. Is this Old Trafford? Is this, is, uh, is this? Oh, yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter. Club disappointed. It is at Liverpool. I am incorrect. This is Anfield. What am I saying? And it would be Anfield, and you'll know it by this celebration right here. Because Jordan Henderson bangs it, and we give up the lead in the final closing minutes of this game. Yep. This is what Manchester United does, I guess, bro. The disappointing results to start my career. A draw to Bournemouth. A loss to Real Sociedad. And now in the 90th minute, we concede an equalizer to Liverpool. That one hurts. That is not a loss, but one of the most difficult results I think of my entire career right there. Being so close, and it's just gone. We move, though. You guys know how this series works, man. I play a lot of games off camera, so you guys aren't necessarily seeing everything. And a lot of the games that you I've been simulating or just playing and not showing you, 
we've been winning so things are, are well in the prem um they're not great but they're, they're, they're doing all right and i'm showing you the big games we're, we're, we're just struggling in the ones i'm showing you so you guys hopefully things will improve moving forward i went on a nice date with my girlfriend here after the match and i was kind of telling her about this situation with cristiano ronaldo how he's kind of just been like ignoring me in the dressing room like he recruited me to join this team to like be his backup and i'm starting to think something might be up like i know i am playing over him but i mean if cristiano ronaldo i wouldn't think he would get upset at something like that right maybe i don't know he, he started obviously all last year at united but maybe they're thinking at least the manager that hey Ronaldo's time here is limited. He's getting older. We need to bring someone new in. And maybe I'm that man that they want in sooner rather than later. So it's a bit of an interesting one. I had to sort of talk about it to someone, man, because uh, it's just been on my mind so much. Look at this, man. Five-star skills now with the skill points. We're up to level 20, and we're up to 84 overall. A bit mad. As I told you guys, the training this year is broken, man. I sold this to EA like... Oh my god, earlier this summer when they were telling me about the my player, I was like, yo, you guys need to make it like a grind kind of like it, it's it's too easy. It's too easy to level up. They said, yeah, well, this is how we want it. And I think everyone can agree that they kind of ruined it. What a goal, man, to start. I don't want to complain right now. Let's just get into this, bro. We're working with what EA gave us, and they're giving us incredible finishing stats to score goals like this only a season and a half into my career banger bro side netting napoli come on we need a win bro we've been struggling this episode in napoli are you kidding me what is happening bro i'm sorry i say bro way too often but i mean come on what is our defense doing this episode has been in shambles and it continues to be that way as victor Ossiman, the bicycle kick all right fair play that one unreal that is an incredible goal i mean look at this oh my god Maguire can do nothing, literally nothing, and Victor Ossiman is shining right now. Crossbar down. This is probably the best game of his career. I mean, look at these goals he's scoring right now. Just goals of the year. Can I mean, at least the bicycle kick. That was incredible. 3-1. This episode is uh, not off to a good start. After that match, going in to the laundry room to find some of my clothes, man. Get dressed, go home, have a good night, hang out with the girlfriend, and call it call it a good one. It was a disappointing result, but hey, it happens, man. We'll, we'll get better. And I ran into to Ronaldo. I think I think he wanted to tell me something. He he pulled me aside, man. Obviously, he wanted this to be sort of a private conversation, a weird place to run into Cristiano. He was about to head out of the stadium when. Well, what happened next would shock me. He recruited me to this team, and what he told me was he's not happy. He wants to be the main man, and he wanted me to go tell the manager to, to start Ronaldo over me. And when I told him, no, man, I'm going to keep playing as I am, well, he wasn't happy about it. And I literally stood there shocked. Did Ronaldo just do that to me? Are you kidding me? Is this what's happening right now? Oh, my goodness. I, I thought he wanted me here for a reason, and now that I'm, I'm starting over him, well, he's not happy. He was convinced that I would be the man who would come in for like a year, sit the bench, and then start next year. Ronaldo, not too happy, and did you see that, man? Okay. That is going to be an interesting storyline to see how things progress. For now, though, I'm still in the starting 11, and I, I straight up told Ronaldo no. Like, I'm performing well. Like, why would I tell the manager to take me out? It's just not realistic. And Cristiano Ronaldo, man, has to maybe start to realize that he's getting a bit older and he's no longer the main man on this club. And I might be that man, or this guy might be, Bruno Fernandes Golasso. All right, so Ronaldo's credit, man. I will say this right here as we're about to go on and win this one too. Now, can we, can we see? Look at this passing. Is this... Is this actually serious? But I'm sitting here like waiting for someone to give it to me. But hey, all right, if Bruno wants to take it, he can take it. 2-0, goal. Back to what I was saying. I think Ronaldo maybe needs to realize that he's 37, man. He got his one year at Manchester United last year starting. He's getting older. He's getting a bit slower. His stats are dropping a, a, a little bit, not much. But they need to make sure that when he is done, that they have someone fit and ready to go in and replace him. And what i'm here to do man it's a big win against spurs finally we get a dub the night after i was a bit surprised because ronaldo had sent me a text and say yo that the the team is going out to have a party after the win and i was like oh okay did you just forget what just happened bro you just like shoved me the other day in the training room 
I, I, I kind of just played along with it. I went out, partied with the team, had a good time. Little did I know, though, what was going on behind the scenes. And, well, let's just say, man, this could come back to haunt me. You guys will find out what I mean soon enough. Check this out, though. Final game of the group stage. We need a win to go through. CSK Moscow, Manchester United. This is going to be a game that you're not going to want to miss. Don't turn off the video just yet, because this one right here, okay, just, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Just watch. Here we go into the match. Let's see what Manchester United can do. Hey, we're starting again, and we're starting off with a banger, boys. Let's go 1-0 Manchester United. Takes the lead. Yo, Cristiano Ronaldo, how does that look from the bench over there? But No, I'm kidding. I don't want to be mean to Ronaldo, bro. I can't do it, even though he may not be the biggest fan of me right now. Hey, I got to be the best teammate possible. And maybe Ronaldo should be chirping to the boss. Like, okay, if you're not going to start me at striker, like, play me on the wing or something. Give me some playing time somewhere. Nevertheless, we're back into it. CSK in Moscow. Golasso 1-0. This would be a big one. I'm telling you. 22nd minute is 1-1. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, the chances I'm getting. I've had so many chances come so close and so many great shots that have been wasted because the keeper makes outstanding saves. Veron, yellow card, penalty. We're behind at this point right now, it doesn't look like we're going through. Could you imagine we get grouped for a second year in a row? Last year, it happened with Leipzig. It is looking like it might happen this year, too. Bicycle kick, a chance right there. Great save. And this one, 2-2. Two -two. 43rd minute. Let's freaking go. Bruno is having himself a great episode, although a lot of the highlights I haven't been showing you. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been kind of pissed at Bruno. He's been making some terrible terrible passes to me. This one right here. Missed shot. Another save from the keeper. But it would all culminate to a chance to win the game. And a chance to send us through to the knockout rounds. Dylan Davenport, bro. Do your thing. from the goalkeeper throws it out off his line i see the opportunity i strike finesse shot from miles outside the box dylan freaky davenport you legend what a goal man longest goal of my career you catch the keeper off his line you gotta take advantage and we do oh my god we can breathe we're through we haven't been grouped for a second year in a row oh my god bro the weight that has just been lifted off our shoulders, man. I'm so pumped after that result. Incredible. Marching on, man of the match as well. I was hanging out with my girlfriend the other night, and, um, well, let's tell this story. Ronaldo invited me out the other night, and I think there is a reason for that, man. I was partying, I was having a good time with my teammates, and, you know, hey, were some other like random girls there as well we were just dancing having a good time and well i ended up checking social media and someone had leaked something out to the media from the other night that made it look like i was cheating on my girlfriend and of course my girlfriend of course believed it she was crying she stormed out i think i know who this might have come from <laughs> 